Welcome to Gallus Gallivants. It's our last day in Philadelphia and we're going to make the most of it. We visit the abandoned state penitentiary, get given a guided tour by Steve Buscemi and visit Al Capone's prison cell. This has been one of our favourite trips so far and we're looking forward to the next adventure. So come get lost with us one more time. Early morning swim. Perfect after a head wagon. Ah. So welcome to Gallus Galvance. We're standing in the middle of a railway line. On our way back to Philadelphia for a few hours. It's our very last day. Um, got about seven hours, our flights tonight. So we're gonna go hop the train into Jefferson Station, get to the tourist area of Philadelphia, and I think we're gonna go see the penitentiary, which is like where John Dillinger's cell was and stuff. So that's, it's meant to be really cool. The weather's turned a little bit Scottish for us, so that's acclimatizing us to getting back home. But it is warm. It's very warm. <laughs> But yeah, it's going to be a cool little last day. We're really sad to be leaving. It's been one of the best trips we've ever done. So yeah, so come come get lost with us. Scary train track. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's definitely one of the strangest things I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Thank you. for the comment box below. Uh, I've had this question quite a lot recently. See this, this hat? Could you call it a Theodora or a Trilby? Because I've been having arguments with a lot of people and we're not really sure. So, comments below. Would you call it? It's a hat. <laughs> I love Wendy. Is it Wendy's time? Yeah. Right. It's raining, and we're going to give you a wee travel tip. Whenever we go, and, oh, it's really raining. Let's go under here. <laughs> so whenever we go places where there's a good chance of rain, we have really, really lightweight waterproof kind of kegel jackets that we always carry. They take up zero room. They weigh nothing. And you know what? For that one percent chance, take it because you don't want to be walking around in the city in the rain. And although they're lightweight, you can layer them up if you get cold. They also look super cool. Look at how cool the city skyline is, even in the, the cloud. I really, really like this city. I think it's it's like mini New York meets Washington, so it's kind of got Glasgow. It's Glasgow, <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of got. Well, here's a fun fact. This is a place that in World War Z was supposed to be filmed. Uh, it's supposed to be set, but it was actually filmed in Glasgow. So our affinity between Philly and uh, Glasgow is actually quite strong. So yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, I feel like a bit of uh, a bit of a, a young team member, Belkos. Young team! Young, young team. team! Yes! Even though it's raining, it's roasting! Amazing! I don't know what this is. I don't know why the salt tires there. I don't know why it says Scotland. But I feel this is the place. This feels like the right place to have a drink at Iron Brew, doesn't it? Mmm. I really we love you. So, we're here at the State Penitentiary. It's just up here. It's going to be one of the most haunted places in America. And if you've watched any of our previous stuff, you know that we love staying in haunted places. Jerome Grand. Anything where ghost adventures have been. We just found something amazing. Doggies! Hello. Is that a dog school? It's a doggy daycare. Oh, that's amazing. You were so happy. We found it. It's big, isn't it? It's like a big castle. So Al Capone was in here. The famous illegal alcohol runner during Prohibition and other activities. Now, there's gargoyles on the roof. Pretty sure they're not original. It's massive. Let's go see this. Wow. Okay. Strange smell of copper in there, isn't there? Or iron? Like, 
like oxidizing. Oh. I want to do something, I don't know if it's going to work. Welcome to Eastern State Penitentiary. In a moment, we'll enter the cell blocks, but our tour begins here in this gravel covered area. I'm actor and director Steve Buscemi. I'll be one of your guides as you visit the prison. You'll also hear from former inmates, guards, and the people who have studied and preserved yeah, so that's this Steve I'm going to take this off now. Get my gimbal back on the go. These are their real voices. I was scared to death. You didn't know what was going well, on. I used to tell them, oh, right, you try to hurt me, I'm going to try to kill you. Tit for tat, pal. If you looked at the walls outside, they were like 25 or 30 feet in the air. And for inside, they were like 60 or 70 feet in the air. Eastern State is without a doubt the most influential prison that was ever built. Before we enter the cell blocks, follow the road past the doorway on the left to the raised concrete surface facing the outside wall. So the audio tour is really, really good. You're standing inside the world's first true penitentiary, a building designed to inspire penitence or true regret in the hearts of criminals. I never knew that. Okay, so penitentiaries are called penitentiaries because they're meant to inspire penitence and it's, in, it's inmates to be regretful and remorseful and be repentant. I never knew that's why they were called penitentiaries. That's an amazing fact. The architects here believe that all human beings, regardless of their behavior, have good in their hearts. They believe the Eastern State Penitentiary would inspire a new generation of prisons, worldwide, built on this optimism and faith in the human character. On the inside, Eastern State was progressive, even visionary. Look at the walls. They're 30 feet tall, with an additional 10 feet below ground level. Look at the battlements across the roof line, the towers. On the outside, this building is a castle, a fortress, a dungeon. Let the avenue to this house be rendered difficult and gloomy by mountains and morasses. Let the doors be of iron. And let the grating occasioned by opening and shutting them extend a sound that shall deeply pierce the soul. Benjamin Rush, 1787. This place is massive. But that was to keep them all separate. No doors on the other side out to the yard. Like a kennel then, so that's how they come in. That's where the get pissed for today. Ah. Oh, okay. It smells nice. Yeah, I bet you it didn't. That's creepy. This one's even creepier than the last one. I don't know if it's been a bite and see how small this room is. It's the only source of light we had originally. What's the sky? Then you put lights in. There's a toilet. That would be the door out to the yard. And that's the power switch. Which was installed later on. So this one's even more dilapidated and old. And the smell of iron eroding. Like how flaky it is. All these copper pipes, the whole place just smells of rotten iron and mould. And it's strangely nice. It's not nice, but it adds to the it just adds to the overall sense of condemnment of this place. So these are the really old parts that haven't been refurbished. So this is a mirror room, which I forgot about. I was listening to it in the headphones and I forgot to mention it. So you can stand here and see down that cell there. And then you can simply walk back this way, catch this mirror, and see down that cell. Okay, so here's how efficient the cell was, the design. So one guard could stand here in the centre and look down every single wing without moving. And now that's very efficient. That's what the mirrors are for. What? They positioned them so we could stand here and we could still see down. So, oh, so even if you stand here, you don't have to go all the way down there. No. You can see down that wing and that wing. Yeah. How amazing a design of a building is that? Amazing. That's some good architecture. 
It was two floors. They had to build a second floor because the place became that crowded that they needed to have a second floor. Oh, so yeah, that smell of rotten iron just corroding, rotting away, as to the idea of cellmates being in here or not. Them rotting away. smaller than the last one. I just got goosebumps so that was weird. I got a really eerie sense of haunting when they see my battery dies. I'm going to freak out because that's how ghosts come through <laughs> when they drain batteries. strange. I thought someone touched me. <laughs> In comparison to all the other cells we've seen, let's have a little look at the land of Al Capone and see what he had. Slightly different style of living, eh? Still incarcerated, but a few luxuries from home. Alright, we're going into death row. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I just got a strange feeling, a strange sensation when I seen the windows. Alright, okay. 1956 this part was built. Now this is a scary bit because this is a bit where people have been getting not attacked but experiencing some things. God, these are the cell release buttons. And then there's the one for all of them. 60 or 70 years old. Oh, this is where they were strip searched. You want to come into jail? You can hose the down as well. So that would happen in this room. That's Shawshank Redemption. This place is very Shawshank Redemption, I think. It's about the same area. The Shawshank, isn't it? Here's something I've wanted to do since I started, but it's always been busy. Dead man walking! I love the green. We were just saying how the era, this, this green was used everywhere. It's the same in Glasgow in the tenements. It was so green. I don't know if I'd like to spend all day looking at it though for 30 years. Right, so that's it. Tour's over. It's home time. It's time to go. So, that's the end of the tour. We need to pretty much run back to the station to get to the airport because we're running a little bit behind. This place is amazing. Come here, the tour is great. It's, how much was it to get in? $12 to get $12. in? $12. $12. Come early because there are big groups. You can do it on your own with Steve Buscemi with the, <laughs> your in-ear tour, which is great, the audio tour. So I just wanted to really say a quick thank you so much to a lot of people. Thank you to Jack for taking us around the amazing parts of New York that we never knew. Thanks to Forbes and Jillian for coming here and it's been one of our favourite trips I think just to come away with friends, meet old friends again, see things you've never seen and just, oh it's been amazing, I would recommend you do it if you ever get a chance, go travel with friends, it'll change the way you travel. So our favourite trip for a long time and we're really sad to be going home, it's raining, <sighs> we're getting used to that, going back to Scotland so it's preparing us for that. So what I just wanted to say was Paint the Skies Tartan, if you like this video give a thumbs up, share it with friends. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. One thing we've not done yet, it's so silly, we're in Philadelphia and we've not tried a cheesesteak, so we've got them up there. Oh my god, that's for one, that's for one person. <laughs> All right. America. Cheese, cheese sticks, hey, let's do it. Let's try it. First time, trying a Philly cheesesteak. Oh my god, that's amazing. The cheese is so good. Mm. Awesome. Finally did it, I'm so happy. Hey, free beer, free whiskey, awesome food. Just take a fly home.